Alright guys, so welcome to my new Let's Play of Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. Um, I figure that I might as well play a game that I'm familiar with, and something that I f think I can finish pretty fast. Here's pretty much a summary of the whole story. Donkey Kong's lost all of his bananas. Yeah. Uh... Basically, what I'm going to do is that for each episode, I'm going to clear a whole world. Uh, I don't recall how many worlds there are. I think there are like six. Six or seven. Um, so that'll be like a seven episode Let's Play. I don't know. It's going to be short. It's basically to put something on my channel as I am waiting for the capture card. Um... And hopefully that I'll show you guys a few of the things that I've learned from this game in the past, such as all of these lives. <laughs> Game's lagging a little bit, so maybe I'll suck a little bit sometimes. But I'm usually uh, somewhat good in this game, I guess. And my voice sounds a little weird, but you know I'm still getting my voice back. But I thought that I was good enough. It was good enough to at least come back and start talking like this. These are just a few tricks that I've learned when I was a kid, because I played this game as a kid. It was one of my first few games that I had, and I was really surprised at the texture, because this is really the first um, real kind of 3D um, Super Nintendo game. And I mean 3D structures, because other games had 2D structures. And they kept, they were kind of doing an experiment with this game when they designed the characters in a 3D kind of texture. I mean, they move in 2D, but the characters are in 3D. I usually got the bird here, and I got the fish. <laughs> Later on, you'll see what those do. So this game is pretty much forward, um, you just get bananas, you get the words K-O-N-G, that's spelled Kong, and if you do, you get a life. So that's pretty much it. Let me uh, fix the lag, I'll be right back. Alright, I hope that did the trick. I closed some programs and hopefully that'll help some somehow. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys that on this level, this is the perfect level to get a bunch of lives. So you can see there's always a life here on the house when you enter the this level. Uh, just one's in the house. And then you come over here and you do what I, exactly what I did last time when I was here. And then you press start select when you were... were when you've already cleared the level, of course, and you just do do it all over again, and, and you get this one life, and then two, three, and then the green counts for two, four, five. That's five lives every time you go in, and that's a really good thing. So you might you might as well stuck up on lives, cause uh, this game is not entirely easy. You know, it starts off kind of simple, but later on it gets really crazy. And most of your deaths, you know, if you're at least good at the game, are not gonna be from enemies. They're gonna be usually from falling, cause there's gonna be like a lot of uh, holes like like you can see here a lot of gaps in the land There are a lot of secrets too like there are a lot of Hidden barrels that shoot you up even when you jump down a cliff. I don't know where all of them are I used to back when when I played this game a lot but um yeah And basically uh, These guys have a frontal attack that they roll and then there's a stomping attack, just like Mario. Uh, Donkey Kong has an extra attack, 
where he slams the ground to unlock some secrets. Because you can get bananas that are hidden in the ground when you do that with him. But I don't, I don't really use it. Actually, I, I don't use Donkey Kong that much in this game. This is really easy if you just see the last place it popped. This game will mostly rewards you with the lives. The other Donkey Kong games that came after are a little more complex. They got a lot, a lot more things going on than just getting lives and bananas. <clears throat> this here is Cranky Kong. I think he represents the old Donkey Kong from the Nintendo game, and basically he just passed the torch to to this guy now, and he basically gives you advice. There he was uh, giving the names of the companions. The rhino at the beginning was Rambi, I think, and the fish is on on guard. I think the the instruction instru instruction booklet that the game brings has the names of all the characters. Cause you know I think that back in the days the those little books were a lot more detailed. So clearing one world per episode is not gonna be that hard. I mean there are some worlds that have a lot of levels, but I'm sure that I can. Uh, go really fast and, and clear them. I mean, that's my goal. <laughs> yeah, I used to play this a lot and uh, I think I have like a, some muscle memory <laughs> of some of the things that I used to do. Now here there's a hidden hole. I'm gonna try and get as, uh, not as many as, you know, at least the ones that I remember. But I probably forgot most of them. There are so many secrets in this game. And most of the holes are just for getting bananas, so... Not getting them is really not a big deal. Main goal is just to go through the game and... Uh, hopefully finish a world for each episode. <coughs> Now this is the water level. These are a little harder than the land levels because you have less control over your characters. All, the only thing you can do is just swim around. There's no way you can defend yourself other than to use on guard. I'll show you guys him in a second. You find your uh, animal companions on boxes. Looks almost like a package that is ready to be delivered. So you can see his uh, sword, sort of, you know, his uh, nose is used to attack the enemies. You can't attack that octopus. Uh, it's immortal. <laughs> but you can pretty much attack anything else. Another thing you can't attack are the clams. Here's another one for just in case you lose him, because if if you get hit, uh, he counts like an extra life, like a you know, like when you get a mushroom, Diddy Kong gets hit, he Donkey Kong takes over. Uh, if you get hit with a fish, uh, he just runs away. I'm not sure if he slams through the walls and. Uh, bumps through the walls and then comes back or he just goes through and just disappears um, I'm not sure about that nope here's a hidden place as you can see Kong, even though they give you one life, 
um, are a good way of knowing if you're going through the level, like if you're getting close to the end. Because when you're already at the end, then you know that you're almost at the G, so you're almost at the exit. So it is a good way of knowing things. I'm going to show you later what Funky does, because right now we can't use him. Now this level has this secret over here, that pretty much you feel like you're going through the whole level, but you're not. <laughs> Trust me. Let me show you where the half of this level is, right here. We just went through half the level with that secret. I mean, imagine if you go by foot. I mean, you would take forever. Oh, there's a way that you can shoot yourself up like this. There we go. <laughs> oh, I didn't look where it was. Ah. Oh. Darn it. Wonder if, uh, nope. Okay. <clears throat> and so we're close to the ending. Now this part here is difficult, <coughs> especially with the um, lag that I'm having right now. I can get rid of it. And even without lag, it's, it's pretty difficult. Oh, darn it! I think I was really close there. Yeah, there are not gonna be no game overs on this game, trust me. <laughs> I'm gonna be falling, like, every turn. At least now I get a chance to get the fish. There we go. So we get a, uh, mini game with on guard and basically for every 100 little fishes that you catch um, you get one life so again this game revolves around getting lives there's no like other other things that you can get at least in this game because later on in Donkey Kong there are more things to get than just lives Here's the big one, it multiplies, as you can see. So I'm already up to three lives. Probably hear a lot of creatures in the background. It doesn't matter where you move in Puerto Rico, if you live in a rural area, there will always be some neighbor who has a bunch of animals. Horses, uh, chickens, ducks, turkeys, dogs, cats. <laughs> They're really kind of cool in the mornings, like when you're waking up and you hear all those creatures. I don't know. It feels like a lullaby to me. <laughs> Hopefully I won't die this time. <coughs> oh. Alright, I'll try not to die. <laughs> so you can see the half half through the level is represented by the um barrel with the stars. The barrel with the stars in this game represents save, so it's like a small little save that you that you got. That one was a big risk there. <laughs> I used to do this like really fast when I was a kid, like boom, 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 boom. But I can't do that anymore. I mean, that was like. <laughs> practice when back then I just play the game over and over again all right so we're at the boss and this here is Candy's safe point I guess she's uh, Donkey Kong's girlfriend and you jump in and your game saved 
Alright. Here's the first boss. He's pretty easy. Just gotta jump over him over and over again. But not immediately after you hit him, because when you do, he's kind of immune for like a f split second or something. So we got a giant banana that says Nintendo. Here's World 2, and I'll see you get here in the next one. Bye-bye.